I had wanted to make a video of this collection, and by the way, welcome to another video uh, presented to you by AA Sports Cards. My name's Michael Chark. I wanted to, uh, as I say, make a video of this consignment collection the other day. Uh, the key card in this collection um, was a Wayne Gretzky rookie card, and from time to time what we can do to help a consigner is we will send the cards off to PSA or other grading companies for them, carry the cost of doing it, uh, and when the card comes back, it comes back to us and then we'll sell it uh, for the consigner, obviously. And uh, we wanted, we offered that to the gentleman who uh, had the Wayne Gretzky rookie card as part of this collection. He was very eager to do that. We were anxious to get the card off for him uh, as quickly as possible. So we sent it off um, before the video was made. But um, there is still a lot of meat in this collection. And I should say this is the 1980s part of his hockey collection. The 1970s part of his hockey collection is currently on eBay if you're watching this August 18th, August 19th, 2021. If you go to um, eBay and you uh, look up my seller ID, which is Vahuda, V-A-H-O-O-T-A, -O you will see that lot on there. It's a large lot of 1970s hockey with a lot of key cards, Bobby Orr's, Trottier Rookie, Gordie Howe, Bobby Hull, etc., etc. This is uh, the 1980s part of his collection. And the reason I wanted to make the video is because there's a lot of cool stuff here and this will be going on eBay uh, this evening. Uh, Thursday, August 19th for the next seven days, this lot will be live on eBay. And this is how, um, you know, the core of my business is still to buy collections outright from people, but the market has changed, the market is strong, and I'm trying to offer people a way who don't want to sell it themselves. If you do, I'm not for you, you don't need me. But if you're tired of, of selling on eBay yourself, or you haven't had luck, you know, selling your own cards on social media or something, as long as a collection fits, as long as you and I are a good fit, uh, I think I can help you. And one of the ways I've been on eBay for 22 years, since 1998, perfect feedback rating, uh, 6,000, what do I have? Almost 6,100 positive feedbacks. Uh, my colleague Dave Kaplan is coming up close to, uh, very close to seven or 800 positive feedbacks. So we use both selling sites, Vahuda and Pseudonymity, which I can't spell. Anyhow, uh, one of the things I think we offer is, and I, again, I've been doing this for 22 years, is I don't sell um, collections, you, I do not sell collections card by card by card, individually anyway, unless it's something significant. Uh, a high-end graded card, obviously, or even a pre-war graded card. Graded cards for the right cards can be sold on their own, obviously. But a raw, uh, a raw Bobby Orr rookie, a raw Gordie Howe rookie, a raw Mickey Mantle, there's a market for that. And the thing is, when it comes to stuff from the 80s, my personal opinion is, unless it's very, very high grade, uh, I like to sell collections in quantity because I believe that appeals to both a collector and a reseller, and you're going to get double the amount of action and activity on your collection. Another pr uh, good example is this card, which is one of the highlights from this collection. A lot of times, if this card is sold raw, ungraded, people are very uh, suspicious and for good reason as to why. They want to know why you haven't got it graded. They think maybe you know there's something wrong with it and, you know, that's why you didn't get it graded. Um, and, uh, you know, this is a real card. There have been reprints of this card, obviously. But when you're selling this card along with the rest of, of these and these and 300 other cards from the 80s with other cards from the 1985-86 set, then people, I think, are, are they're, they're confident in buying the collection because they realize that um, this looks the same as the other 1985 Opeachy cards in the collection, and it comes from a childhood collection, so the condition is generally uniform. And again, my point is that you're always going to be able to sell this card. In truth, you're probably always going to be able to sell most of these. 
but I still think it's very difficult at the end of the day, and I'll just randomly pull out a card. I think it's very difficult to sell that on its own. In a collection of three or four or five or a a 500 or a thousand cards, you'd probably have that forever. And, um, you know, I would rather, my opinion is, why not get it uh, out into the market and sell it instead of having it sit in a dollar box at a card show. So we will often combine collections, take them, sell them in large quantity, excuse me, when you have stuff from the 70s and the 80s, we will sell everything together so it enables you to sell all of the cards in your collection. And again, we have the Lemieux Rookie here. These are some of the other key cards in this collection. There's an Iserman Rookie. There's two Paul Coffey Rookies. Now, another thing I should mention about this collection, and this is probably the worst one. Uh, you, I'm not sure. Again, I know my videos are not high-tech. They are not, uh, admittedly, but they're supposed to be real and genuine, which is how I'm running my business. You can see the heavy corner crease there. Again, it would be very difficult to sell that card on its own. But when you sell it in a group with another coffee rookie and other high-end cards, it makes the sum of the, of the collection, it makes the volume of the collection, it makes all of the cards together in my opinion, have so much more demand and so much more value. So there's two Ray Bork rookies. There is not one, but two Marc Messier rookies. And this is, I think, something that's gonna really propel this, this lot to a very, good, uh, a, a very good figure for the consigner. Keep in mind, we wanna do well for you, the consigner. The better you do, the better I do. So it's in my best interest to present your lots professionally. We use as many photos as we're allowed, usually 12 photos for a collection like this. We'll do good uh, write-ups, good item descriptions. Um, I think we do a nice job. This collection has one, two, three, second year Gretzky cards, which has become a very, very, very valuable card, much like the Michael Jordan, uh, where the rookie card just got higher and higher in value and propelled the second year card to greater heights. That has happened with this card. There's three second year cards. There are also two Brett Hall rookie cards. And there is over 50 Wayne Gretzky cards in this collection. I just pulled out a few. Obviously, a lot of the league leaders and the team leaders and stuff, but there are uh, several of his individual cards. So again, this collection will be on eBay as of tonight, Thursday, August 19th. Vahuda, V-A-H-O-O-T-A. -O you can find us on eBay. We're going to be making a video very shortly of some very, very high-end cards coming back to us that we are going to auction on consignment. And I think we're entering the big leagues with some of those. But another uh, very important component of my business is that, you know, I... Sometimes when you call a big auction house, they will only take your graded cards. They will only take lots that are, you know, in the thousands of dollars. Listen, a lot has to be good. A collection has to be good. But if it is, and you do not want to do the work of selling it yourself, I think we offer a very valued, very good service for Canadians who, again, maybe don't want to send their stuff off to the States. We're passionate about this and we are growing our business every day. We will buy your collection from you outright or we will sell your collection for you on consignment. To learn more about my business, visit my website at www.aasportscards.com. Please like and subscribe my YouTube channel and I will be making many, many more videos uh, of collections that come in to us uh, that we buy or that we take on consignment. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.